सर कैलाश चंद्रा वॉल्यूम वन ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर बैक ऑफ फोर स्पीड हंड्रेड वर्ड पर मिनट स्टार्ट इन रिगार्ड टू द अमेंडिंग प्रोविजन आई वॉन्ट टू नो फ्रॉम द मिनिस्टर वट वुड बी इज डिफिकल्टी इवन इफ माइनर ओफेंसिस आर टेकन टू कोर्स ऑफ लॉ For instance, the Motor Vehicles Act deals with various offences, both major and minor, and various minor offences under the Act are taken to courts and people are prosecuted. What is the difficulty in taking these cases of a minor nature to courts of law? there the people will have some safety that they will get a hearing and if the offences are really offences then they would be prosecuted otherwise they will be acquitted here the minister says that there should be a security deposit If there is a violation of a particular provision of the enactment, then the executive authority will have the power either to confiscate a part of the amount or the whole of the amount. We are clothing the executive authority with more powers. i do not grudge giving powers to the executive authority provided they are used properly and effectively and in a most fair manner but unfortunately there have been discriminations apart from the ineffectiveness of the various provisions wherever these provisions were used there had been discriminatory use of these provisions against a few or in favor of a few normally when officers are clothed with more powers there is large scope for corruption i feel that it would be desirable to avoid for such mal practices and it would be desirable i think that even for minor offenses the parties should have a chance to defend their action i do not think that this problem of dealing with minor offenses will become complex or complicated in any way if we take them to courts of law I want a reply from the minister in what way he is suffering from a handicap in dealing with minor offences or offences of a technical nature. Stanza. The honourable member made the point that even if this thing was acceptable to the house, he did not know what amount would be demanded as security. so the minister should tell us what amount is normally expected from a licensee in all cases and what the offences are which are of a technical or minor nature which he has in view we are not told which are major offences and which are minor offences clarifications on these points are necessary stanza i wish that the act which came into effect long ago was implemented properly i know that the minister here is very earnest in implementing it but his colleagues at the state level and at the central level are disappointing him stop mm-hmm.